Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight something cool has arrived in the mail and I'm ready to set it up. So we're going to show it off here. We're going to put it together and install it in another video and we'll test it out as well. That is this. It is the long wire antenna. It is the S, uh, uh, MLA30 is the name of this thing. Here it is right here. It looks like a giant pile of stuff and that's pretty much all it is. Some assembly required, but what it is is the Mega Loop. <laughs> it's only for receiving, but it has uh, got some great reviews online. Relatively inexpensive. I paid less than $40, including shipping. The Mega Loop Active Loop Antenna, the MLA30 Plus. Frequency range 0.5 megahertz all the way through 30 megahertz. So it is good for the AM band, but mostly for shortwave. And uh, comes with a good amount of wire. Comes with our hard band for that. And the cool thing about this is it has a preamp. So it's what really makes it stand out is that it's a good noise reducing loop antenna, but it also has a preamp to pull in those really weak signals. So I'm gonna be setting this up today. We're gonna to install this, or we're gonna figure out how to install this. And uh, so that this portion right here goes inside the house. And it comes with cabling. I mean, it's nice. It comes with this jumper wire here that's gonna to go to the radio. And then uh, this is all one piece here. This is going to hook. That's there here. Loop antenna hooks on each side here with these little winders here. And then there's a good run of cabling to get it into the house. I was going to attach this to the new antenna tower. Now I think I am going to hook it to the side of the building. And here's why. I actually found like an old DSS satellite dish uh, arm bracket to mount to the side of the building. And it'll stick out enough. And I think that'll do just fine for what I need. I want to... Well, I just want to keep down on all the stuff that's stuffed up against that side of the house, but eh, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go over. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to undo a lot of this stuff. And we're going to assemble this. You do need some stuff on your own to get this thing built. And honestly, it's not much. Just a scrap of PCB tubing is all it takes to get it done. I've got that over there. We'll cut it down to size here and get this thing put together. And it shouldn't take very long, but I'm so looking forward to checking this thing out. I have really been into shortwave stuff my whole life but I've got I picked up this Radio Shack realistic um, it's it's like this baby right here but it's the uh, 302 the DX 302 it's the best Radio Shack shortwave radio they ever made it's a great radio and it deserves a great antenna to go with it so let's do it okie dokie just got a few tools here got a pair of side cutters basically to get these tie straps off got my little uh, Phillips head screw gun and this is a uh, hacksaw up here you can see what I was talking about. I'm going to mount that to the side of the house. I'll adjust this thing out and my loop antenna will sit up there. And it fits right in this, which is an old piece of Schedule 40 electrical conduit. And that was just leftovers from the project this spring, bringing power out to the new building that we have out there. So that's the idea. I'm going to go ahead and cut this and see if this is going to be a big enough piece of pipe for this antenna. It's a little hard to gauge by the pictures just how big a loop we have, but let's see what we got here. Okay, well, there we go. All right. Oh yeah, plenty big. So what I'm going to do is take my hacksaw and I'm going to cut a small notch in the end here. Let me see which side. Is. Yeah, I'm going to cut a small notch in the end right here, so that that wire will sit in it. And this doesn't have to be super deep or super perfect. It just has to be a notch that that wire can sit in happily. We got a win. Might need to make it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it just a little wider there. I'll just have to wallow that out slightly. Now we'll take this, stick it down in that slot so that it has a place to sit. And it does perfectly. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna extend our loop out here. We want it to be somewhat even. And we're going to attach one side to each of this. I think what I'm going to do is put a piece of tape up at the top just to hold it in place temporarily. There we go. And now we're going to have to take our gun and screw in the two screws that are provided in the kit to get this thing to be our nice little circle that we're looking for. Look at that. And the 
lower one. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like the rain's coming in, so it's a good time to end this part of the video. That's it. It's pretty simplistic. The preamp making it a whole lot better than it probably seems like it would be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Part two, I'll show you it installed, and we will take it inside the house. Use the Radio Shack DX302 to figure out how well it works. Till next time, take care. There's always something.